What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I have some exclusive Court of Oryx gameplay for you guys. Now this footage I have been holding back on since recording it when me and a few other YouTubers got to go out to Seattle, go to the Bungie headquarters and play the Taken King last week. The Court of Oryx beside a few story missions and the Shield Brother Strike was probably the main and most exciting thing we got to play. Now also I must stress I will state all details I know of the Court of Oryx but I have recorded this before the Court of Oak stream uh, which may include newer details and thing us YouTubers were not told so please keep that in mind. So what at this current moment in time do I know about the Court of Oryx? Well the Court of Oryx is located deep into the Dreadnought, a lot like a public event you find on other planets but not quite the same. Instead of waiting around for a public event to start, the Court of Oryx events are triggered by you. So how do you activate it? Well, in the Court of Oryx there are four podiums, so to speak, of four difficulty levels. To trigger and start one event, you need to offer a Ruin. So no, you can't sit here all day activating these events. You do, like I said, need to use a Ruin, which can be obtained from the Destiny world various different ways. But we were told by Luke Smith himself that these Ruins won't be dished out like spin metal. So don't expect to be finding hundreds each week. Like I said, there are four levels of difficulty. You can go here in a max team of three, but because it's a public area, expect to see other fire teams here. One person in your fire team must have a ruin to activate the event. You do not all need to have one. But bear in mind, whoever uses their ruin, if the event is completed, they will receive the better rewards. Although 80% of the time you will all still receive rewards, but the person who used their ruin will get the best rewards if the event is completed. You can also come here and help other fire teams. Even if no one in your team has used the ruin, if the event is completed by the other fire team with your help, you still have a chance of obtaining loot. So there are four events you can activate. Obviously, each one gets harder and harder. We did not activate them all, only the ones we could complete. Once activated you get a public event but the mechanics behind the boss of the event will be like nothing you've experienced before. One battle we had to kill three wizards but their deaths had to be synchronised. Basically they had to be killed near enough the same time and if you didn't they would respawn and the battle would continue. Another battle source fighting two knights, one welding a boomer and the other had a sword. No amount of bullets would take off their shields. The key here was to draw them together and that's how their shields were reduced. Another battle source faced off against an ogre. Again, no amount of bullets would reduce his shield. Here you had to use the enemy against the enemy, basically killing cursed throws in the ogre's proximity to reduce his shield. Once his shield was reduced, you pummel him with bullets until he regains that shield and you go over the process again. Once you have completed the event, a chest will appear. Here is where you collect your rewards. But like I said, whoever used the ruin to activate the event will get the better rewards. To complete higher levels of this event, you will need to work on that light, which in turn will make you more powerful, which is definitely the key. We had someone activating a higher event and it was near impossible. We were getting one shotted. Some of the enemies had question marks above their head and I ain't seen these since exploding the Cosmodrome when I started the game way, way, way back in September. Bungie themselves said they are yet to complete a level 4 tier, which sounds crazy but gets me more excited to play it. I personally love the idea of a challenge this hard. They also confirmed that they were way more events than we experienced with harder mechanics. The Court of Oryx is just one amazing new addition to what we get with the Taken King on September 15th. Not long left guys whatsoever, a couple of weeks and I just cannot wait. But guys I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions let me know down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always and peace out until next time. Peace!